Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects plugin quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use an After Effects general plugin to essentially click on a menu button and then read values from within After Effects itself. In this case, we're going to be diving into an active comp, an active layer, and we're going to get both the position value of our layer, which we can have in all sorts of formats here. But since it is a 2D value, we can see it's 360 by 640. And we can also get the scale value or any other values we want. So this tutorial is going to be two things. And we're going to be quickly going over how to sort of use the After Effects uh, SDK guide to look at these different After Effects general plugin methods in order to fill in variables like layers and times, and then how to actually go deep into the composition and different settings to get different values, as well as the actual streams they're called, or things like uh, scale, position, and different properties we can get access to. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, where you can also check out this code. Uh, I will be uploading just the bits you need that you can then add to Easy Cheese or any other AEGP plugins that you uh, have. And then also you can follow us down in the description. Uh, and also in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with awesome members, and much more. And also, if you want to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. And that comes with cool perks like Discord status, badges, and much more. And also in the description, check out the links for AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange for some other cool stuff I make. All right, so After Effects general plugin suites are where we want to be inside the SDK guide. And this gives us basically full breadth of access to things from the top level of After Effects all the way down to the nitty gritty, uh, whether it's a layer, a layer's properties, a layer's masks, a layer's keyframes, expressions, all of this can pretty much be accessed through AGP. It's essentially like scripting, but it actually offers a bit more in terms of what you can access and read. In fact, this is almost what feels like a faster way to script in some respects, and you can do behaviors that are very much like scripting uh, with an AGP. So we're going to be using the Easy Cheese example project in this case. We've taken a look at it before. Basically, inside of the command hook function is where we run the actual code, which happens when, in this case, we click on the menu button we've defined um, inside of After Effects. And in this case, it usually starts off by creating a new project, but in today's example, we're basically going to have a, uh, if I go ahead and open up After Effects here, it, we're going to have a single composition with a single layer. We're going to assume it's the selected layer, a similar setup we have to basic scripts. And with that, we're going to access its properties, also known as streams. So without looking at the code, how do we go about finding out or getting a layer? Let's go ahead and go to the composition suite because we know that compositions contain layers. So if we type in get layer, you can see we have get layer num masks, get layer mask by index. We actually have a lot of results in this page. Uh, the very first result is get layer index, which says get the index of the layer. Um, so we that's already if you have a layer object, but how do we get a layer itself? If we type in maybe get active, we can get the active item and we can get the active layer. This is within the AEGP layer suite eight. So layer suites is actually the correct place to go. Um, and if you see, we have get active layer. And from there, we can then get a lot of the information. We can also get the number of layers, the layer by index. Um, but since this case, we have an active layer, we will use the get active layer method and we need uh, luckily, this tells you the variable types you need because it's very important in C++. We need an AEGP layer H type. And so we will define an AEGP layer H type called layer H. Uh, I'm just calling it that to make sure it matches the variable type name as I get used to them. Then we use the actual method get active layer. We need to provide the pointer to it so we can actually store the active layer in that memory address uh, for the variable layer H. And from that, once we have layer H, what do we want to do? Uh, well, first we want to know what the position and the scale values are. 
So it's actually not as simple as saying grab the position property and grab the value. We actually need to grab the what's called a stream. And as you can see, there's kind of a method to be able to go back and forth in the guide and check out these different suites and go down in detail as we try and get things uh, figured out. So as I said, we have access to the stream suite. It does say it is to access the value of the layer streams. Um, and that is basically anything that has a value. It can be transform properties. It could be the time remap value. It could be the property of a mask. It can be pretty much anything that has a keyframeable value or readable value uh, below a layer or inside of a layer. So you can see if we scroll down, we have some lists here which show us things like the anchor point, the position, the scale, the rotation. This is exactly what we want. We want that position and we want that scale. So this is part of get new layer stream and get new layer stream requires our plugin ID, a layer, the stream name here, and then a variable to put the stream in. So what we're going to do, we'll need our plugin ID, which is already defined globally. We'll need our layer that we just had selective actively, and we, we got that new layer based on the active selection. We're going to then provide it with AEGP layer stream position for which stream it is. And then we need to give it a stream ref H variable to store that stream in. This, the stream is more equivalent to the scripting property itself. It's not equivalent to say the value of the position necessarily. It's more the actual positional property itself, which contains the value. As you'll see, we'll have one more step after we do this. So if we look at the actual example code here, you'll see I actually added a little extra code. I found a function called get layer endpoint, and um, you can use this, provide it with a layer, as well as a time mode. You can give it either layer time or comp time, and then give it an A underscore time variable. And this one I actually duplicated to make two endpoints, but this should be get layer duration. And with this, I'm actually able to get uh, how long uh, it lasts and when the endpoint is. So, so if I actually go ahead and set a breakpoint after uh, I define those bits of code there and relaunch After Effects, because I believe I made a bit of changes which won't be updated, go ahead and load up my turtles and we'll apply our AGP. And you can see our end time. So now that we have our breakpoint hit, we can check out the end time, which gives us a a time uh, variable with the value, which is zero, because it starts at zero, and the scale of the time, uh, basically how it skips along, or based on the frame rate and things like that. And then for the duration, we have this long duration here and the scale as well. So that's cool. And since we did get a little sidetracked, we need to get back to the streams, which to get the actual values of the properties. So we've defined two stream refs, one for the position, one for the scale. And because Let's say I go forward here and set a breakpoint. If I check the value of my position stream after I've set it, remember we have get new layer stream. We provide our plugin ID, which is set globally to this variable. We have our layer, which we just got here. And we want to grab the position and store it in the position. I just said it was kind of like the property. And as you can see, we just get this hexadecimal uh, value here, which is just kind of the memory address where this stream is now located. In order to get the actual value, we need to use the get new stream value uh, method here. With this, it's very simple and it's very similar to the scripting um, value at time method. So we say get new stream value, we need to provide our plugin ID, the stream variable we just got, which was for the position, and we have one for scale too, the time mode, which we're going to use our layer time or comp time if you want the actual uh, time you want to check for, which we already have, I'm just setting to the endpoint. Um, that's a time variable. Pre-expression, you can set to true or false if you want to analyze the value before the expression or after. And then finally, a stream value two to store it in. And we have that already set up here. You can see we have get new stream value, our ID, our position and our scale stream. We're using a uh, layer time. We're using our in time time, which references the endpoint of our layer, AKA zero seconds. We're using false to be pre-expression or would that be not pre-expression? And then we're storing these in our 
stream value two variables called position value and scale value. So now if I set a breakpoint after it, I just have this simple temp variable set up. Instead of seeing this uh, memory location where our stream is located inside of position value and scale value, we're now gonna see stream h, which is the reference to the stream itself, as well as val. Val is gonna contain multiple types of value stores because streams can have one dimension, two dimensions, three dimensions, four dimensions. It could be a color, it could be arbitrary, they could be a marker, a layer. So it has all these data types and you want to grab just the one that you need. In this case, if it's uh, say position, we know that position is two or three dimensional. So we can grab the 3D one if we want from uh, in case there's three, uh, third dimension, which gives us 360 by 640. And if we look at our scale value, which has now been uh, converted to a value, that can also be two or 3D, which gives us 100, 100, 100. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. All this code will be in the description down below. And that's how to sort of go through different properties and navigate your way through After Effects with an After Effects general plugin, as well as how to access stream values, sort of like scripting in a way um, inside of a plugin. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks and, of course, helps us out. And also in the description, check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff I create. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.